Over a thousand years ago, in the nation of Mathlandia, there was a boy named Trigg. This is Trigg. What you should know about Trigg is that he was a great runner. Every day, Trigg ran around Mathlandia and never ran into any issues. But one day, Trigg went out on his usual run and stubbed his toe on a hard, right triangle-shaped rock. And he died. No, he didn't actually die. He just flipped over and fell on the ground. Luckily, Trigg didn't suffer from any major injuries, but he did stub his toe pretty badly. So, after he hobbled home that day, he filled up his bathtub full of cold water and sat down in there for hours, soaking his stubbed toe. As you can see from his face, it was a pretty miserable experience. I mean, he was just sitting there soaking a toe. How fun could that be? But anyways, after that dreadful experience, nobody ever called him Trigg anymore. From then on, he had a new name, So Katoa. Now, did I just waste your time by telling you that story? Possibly, but I promise you, Sokotoa will be an important part of this video. For today's crazy calculations, we're going to be learning about sine, cosine, and tangent, and also Sokotoa, which will come later. So first of all, let's talk about sine. What is sine? Well, the first thing that you should know is that sine has no value by itself. It needs to be paired with an angle to have meaning. So seeing sine by itself isn't like seeing pi by itself, where you know pi is 3.14, Seeing sine by itself is like seeing a square root with nothing in it. It doesn't make any sense and it has no value. So let's take a look at this triangle right here. This symbol right here is called theta, and if you don't know what that is, you can watch my what is theta video, but basically it's just a variable to represent this angle right here. Anyways, the sine of any angle in a right triangle gives you the ratio of the opposite leg in that right triangle over the hypotenuse of that right triangle. So the sine of theta right here gives me the ratio of the opposite leg, which is B, because B is on the opposite side of this angle, over the hypotenuse, which is C. So sine of theta is equal to B over C. Now, what about cosine? What is cosine? The cosine of an angle in a right triangle is equal to the adjacent leg divided by the hypotenuse in that right triangle. So the adjacent leg is the leg that touches the angle. So that would be A in this triangle and the hypotenuse is C again. So the cosine of theta is A divided by C. And what about tangent? What is tangent? Tangent of an angle in a right triangle is the opposite leg divided by the adjacent leg. So we have our theta right here, B is the leg opposite of theta, and A is the adjacent leg because it touches theta. So our tangent of theta is equal to B divided by A. So, what does Sokotoa have to do with this? Well, as I just told you, the sine of an angle in a right triangle is equal to the opposite leg over the hypotenuse, the cosine of an angle is equal to the adjacent leg over the hypotenuse, and its tangent is the opposite leg over the adjacent leg. And some people have trouble remembering all of this. So, that's why we have an acronym, Sokotoa, to help you remember this. So is sine is opposite over hypotenuse, ka is cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, and toa is tangent is opposite over adjacent. So you can use Sokotoa to remember what sine, cosine, and tangent are. Let's take a look at this triangle right here. We can use Sokotoa to find the sine, cosine, and tangent of angle A, which is right here. First, we have sine of angle A, and we know it's so, so that's opposite over hypotenuse. And our opposite leg from angle A is four, because it's the leg that does not touch angle A. And our hypotenuse is five. So sine of angle A is equal to four, over 5. And what about cosine of angle A? For cosine, we have ka, so cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, and our adjacent leg is 3 because it's the one that touches the angle, and 5 is our hypotenuse, so cosine of A is 3 divided by 5. And for tangent, we have toa, so we have opposite over adjacent, 4 is the opposite, 3 is the adjacent, so for tangent of angle A, we get 4 divided by 3. Now, what if we look at the same triangle, but we want to find the sine, cosine, and tangent of this angle right here, angle B? Well, we'll do the same thing. For sine of B, we have opposite over hypotenuse. And this time, the opposite leg is the 3, because the 3 is on the opposite side of the triangle as angle B. So, sine of angle B is the opposite over the hypotenuse, which is 3 over 5. Cosine of angle B is the adjacent, which is 4 over 5, which is 4 over 5. And the tangent of angle B is the opposite over the adjacent, so we get 3 over 4. 
How about we try this with one more triangle right here? Let's find the sine, cosine, and tangent of angle A in this triangle now. If you want to try it on your own, feel free to pause the video right now. All right, so for sine of angle A, we have so, so opposite over hypotenuse. 12 is the leg opposite of angle A, and 13 is the hypotenuse in this triangle, so for sine of A, we get 12 over 13. For cosine, we have cut adjacent over hypotenuse. 5 is the leg adjacent to angle A, and 13 is the hypotenuse, so we get 5 over 13 as our cosine of A. And for tangent, we have toa, so opposite over adjacent gives us 12 over 5 as our tangent. Now, what about the sine, cosine, and tangent of angle B in this triangle? Again, if you want to try this on your own, you can pause the video right now. So, first for sine, we have opposite over hypotenuse. This time, 5 is opposite of angle B, so we have 5 over 13. For cosine of angle B, we have the adjacent leg over the hypotenuse, which is 12 over 13. And for tangent of angle B, we have toa, opposite over adjacent, so that's 5 over 12. Now let's take a look at this triangle right here. In this triangle, we're given one of the angle measures, and we also have a side length right here. And what if we have a question that asks us to solve for x? Well, I know my angle right here is 35 degrees, and I know the leg opposite of that is 5. And I know x is the hypotenuse of this triangle. So which trigonometric function uses the opposite leg and the hypotenuse? That's sine, right? So I'm going to take the sine of 35, which is equal to opposite over hypotenuse, which is 5 over x. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cross multiply. So I'm going to put sine of 35 over 1, so I get a fraction there. And now I'm going to cross multiply, so I get x times sine 35 is equal to 5. And then to get x by itself, I'm going to multiply both sides by sine 35, so I get x is equal to 5 over sine 35. And now I can plug this into my calculator, and I'm going to make sure my calculator is in degree mode, and I get x is approximately 8.72. And now what if we have to solve for what? Well, we have our angle 35 degrees still, we still have our leg 5, which is the opposite of it, and y is the leg adjacent to the 35 degree angle. So what uses the opposite leg and the adjacent leg? That's tangent, right? Toa. Tangent is opposite over adjacent. So we're going to set up our equation. Tangent of 35 is equal to opposite over adjacent, so 5 over y. Now again, we're going to cross multiply, so I'll put tangent of 35 over 1. And when I cross multiply, I get y times tangent of 35 equals 5. And now I'm going to divide both sides by tangent of 35, so I get y is equal to 5 over tangent of 35. And when I plug this into my calculator, I get y is approximately 7.14. Now, if you're wondering why I didn't use cosine, because I know my hypotenuse right here that I just solved in this problem, it's because if I mess up right here, and then I use this for the next problem, then I mess up on both of these problems. But if I just use what I'm given for both problems, so the 5 and the 35 degrees, and I don't use the answers that I get, then if I mess up on this one, I can still get this one correct. All right, let's try this with one more triangle. For this triangle, we're going to solve for side A and side B. So if you want to give this a try on your own, feel free to pause the video right now. All right, so I know I have a 40 degree angle right here, and I know the hypotenuse is 12. And first we're going to solve for side A. Side A is the leg opposite of the 40 degree angle. So I have the hypotenuse, and I need to find the opposite side. So which of the trigonometric functions has opposite and hypotenuse? That's sine, right? Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So I'm going to set up an equation. Sine of 40 degrees is equal to a over 12. And now what I can do is I can just multiply the 12 to both sides. So I get 12 times sine 40 is equal to a. And when I plug this into my calculator, I get a is approximately 7.71. So now I'm going to solve for side b. I know b is the adjacent leg because it's the leg that touches the 40 degree angle. And I also have my hypotenuse, which is 12. So what trigonometric function uses the adjacent leg and the hypotenuse? That's cosine, right? Cosine is the adjacent over hypotenuse. So I'm going to set up an equation to solve for b, so I get the cosine of 40 is equal to b over 12. And now I'm going to multiply both sides by 12, so I get 12 times the cosine of 40 
equals b and now when i plug this into my calculator i get b is approximately 9.19 and now i know all three side lengths to this triangle right here because of sine and cosine and that's it for this video if you have any questions comments videos you want to see or anything else you want to say feel free to drop a comment down below and other than that i will see you next time